In this series of videos, we're going to be using the same hand tools for each video. So I'm going to show you right now how to use the basic tools that an electrician or anyone doing electrical wiring would be using. Now, typically, we need to take a wire, remove the insulation. I like to use an electrician's pliers, which has the different sizes of openings for different sizes of insulation. Take that off. Then we'll be using a number of different sizes of uh, terminal ends, especially for connecting to battery posts. So as you see, there's color coding, yellow, blue, red, and the insulation on these are also yellow, blue, red. Yellow is for a larger wire size, a number 10 to number 12. Blue would be number 14 to 16. And the red is a very small wire, uh, 18 to 22, which we probably will not be using. Typically, um, this would be a terminal to connect to battery. And we would put it in our crimper. I like the crimpers that lock so that once you start, it will not release until you've, you've gone through the entire crimping process. So you insert the wire into the crimper. Make sure you can see it sticking out the other end. We go through the crimping. And we now have a terminal for connecting to a battery post. Again, we will be using this type of terminals for most of the work that we're going to be doing in the videos. We also will need wire cutters, uh, some type of a, um, a um, ratchet socket or um, open end wrench to uh, tighten up the terminals on a battery. They need to be very tight. Of course, we will need a Phillips and flat blade screwdriver and our trusty vi digital volt ohm meter. So as we get into the videos, we'll be using each of these tools, but I'll be going through it fairly quickly, so it will not be time to explain each one of them in the videos.